So once you've produced your video with quizzes that are going to be graded, you'll want to add it to My Courses. This tutorial will take you through those steps. Go into the course you want to add it to, click on the Course Content tab on the nav bar, click on Table of Contents, click on Import Course, and then click Import Course Package. Next you click on the Upload button. You need to navigate to where you've located the video with the quizzes that you want to add that you've produced and you go into that folder you find the zip file that's within that um, you click on it once or you can double click if you click on it once click open the tutorial project zip file will upload so once it's uploaded you'll then click on import all components now you'll go through this process of uploading and converting and importing and when you get three check boxes that means you're ready now one thing you should note is that you have no control as to where the uh, video will go in the course you can move it after you have uh, placed it into the course and imported it you click on the view content button and there'll be a new module Usually I will say Camtasia video course, or it may say the name of the project, the file that you named your uh, video. Um, but in any course, what the next step is to add it to the gradebook. So what you need to do is click on the name of the module and then click on the actual uh, video as if you're going to view it. Uh, it probably should not. It probably won't start, which is okay. You want to scroll down till you see an area that says Assessment. You want to click on Add a Grade Item. Once you click on Add a Grade Item, you want to click on the green plus to create a new grade item. You then go ahead and type in the name of this is the name of the um, grade item that will be in the grade book you choose a category for it if you want now if you're using a weighted gradebook make sure you do use a category uh, I'll go ahead and put it in homework for now points gradebook it's not necessary put in the maximum number of points that you want and then click create you want to make sure that push all existing scores to the grades is checked and click save and that's it your gradebook um, this is now in the gradebook and when students take this the grades will be pushed to the gradebook now in order to test this it's probably a good idea to do this using the SPC demo student and in the written step-by-step -step tutorials I have links on how to add the SPC demo student and then how to impersonate the SPC demo student so I'm going to go ahead in here and go to the class list and I'm going to go ahead and impersonate the SPC demo student because it's a good idea to test this to make sure it works. So as the SPC demo student, I'll go to course content, I'll click on the name of the module, I'll click on the project, and I will go ahead and play it. Now, where the button is, that's where the quiz is, so the student will take it, and I'll go ahead and get 100% on it. And if they have multiple quizzes in this, all those quizzes would be added up to one score. I'll go ahead and submit the answers. Students can view the answers. I'm just going to go ahead and continue. Now the students would be able to go on, and they won't be able to take that quiz again. And again, that's dependent on your settings in there. So now I just want to make sure that the grade went into the grade book. So as the SPC demo student, I'll click on Grades. And you'll see right here where it says tutorial project. It doesn't look like it did. Well, I'm going to go ahead and just reload and show you that, yes, it may take a minute or so, but it will be pushed into the gradebook. And as you can see, uh, this is working perfectly. The next step is that you may want to go ahead and move this particular I'm going to stop impersonating the SPC demo student. And as a faculty, you may want to move this into a different module. Again, I would go ahead and look at the tutorials on how to, to move topic items into a different module. But it's pretty simple, holding my mouse on these three lines. I take it and just drag it into a different module. And then what I want to do is go ahead and get rid of this module. And I'm going to go ahead and delete that and click Delete. And so that way, it's in the module that I want the students to... Um, 
to view, which is module one, and as you'll see, there's the project that they're doing.